to say to her that it didn't matter what she was going to tell me, that I wasn't going to be angry or judge what she was saying. We will care for you no matter what, and no matter which direction you take, we will support you. I promise you that we'll get through this together. You've got me, and we'll do something to make it better. We're here to listen. We're, we're here anytime you need us. Nothing you say leaves this room unless you give me permission. Sometimes I think it's helpful to say, I don't understand what you're going through, but I'm here to help you. We just sat beside her and, and cuddled her and um, said things like, we're always here, you're never alone, just making her feel safe. She was so um, down and so miserable that she was relieved that I said, we've got to fix this because this is just not how you should feel. When they're suffering depression, they're a bit more sensitive than they normally would be. So you've got to be really careful about what sort of words you use, what phrases you use. You saying that, ah, oh, you'll be right, just get out of bed. Look, the sun's shining, get out there. It's really devaluing what they're feeling. If he tells me he's feeling low and not coping too well, and I just say, yeah, I understand, mate. If I haven't suffered from anxiety and depression, I don't understand. I actually don't think they like us going, oh, well, I remember when I was that age. I don't think they like hearing no, that at no, all. No, it's one thing to be empathetic. It's another thing to take control of the conversation yeah, and say, yeah. hey, I'm going to tell you about my life. You beat yourself up a little bit when you do say the wrong thing or do the, do the wrong thing but it's, um, it's trial and error. It doesn't matter whether it sounds articulate, just begin a conversation, something that you believe will lead you somewhere. Because I think the worst thing to do is to stand on the sideline and say nothing for fear of not getting it right.